In this video, I want to take folks through how to actually download and install Visual Studio. Visual Studio is one of the big IDEs from Microsoft, and it is also normally the IDE that we use in relationship to Unity. So before I dive in and get started, one thing I want to emphasize to folks that you do have Visual Studio, but also too, you have what is called Visual Studio Code. These are two different IDEs, just so you're aware. A lot of the documentation, however, for Unity's C-sharp use focuses on Visual Studio. So that's going to be the one that I talk more about here in this video. Now to begin, they do have a free download version called the Community Download Version. This is great also that depending on your school or university, for those of you that are students, you may already have a Microsoft account through your uh, student account that you'll be able to log in and you'll be able to work with it. However, you can also make a general Microsoft account or you don't even need to have an account at all. Now, when you go and download, so community is going to be the one that you want to download. And again, the URL is visualstudio.microsoft.com slash downloads. You're going to do the download. And when you run the executable, it's actually going to install what is called the video, the Visual Studio installer. Now, right now I've gone through, I actually cleaned up a little bit. I had numerous versions of Visual Studio running on my computer, so I cleaned it up a little. Going to that point, yes, you can have multiple versions of Visual Studio running simultaneously on your computer if you have the space. However, for the scope of what we're talking about regarding Unity, we really only need one version of Visual Studio. So the first thing you're going to need to do is check out what is available here. So you can see here as far as some of the releases at the top, for me at least, I have some versions from 2017. Just to emphasize, if you see things like Studio Enterprise, Studio Professional, you can download these and work with them, but they are just free trials. These are the paid versions of Visual Studio. We're going to be sticking to the community versions. However, the installer makes you scroll down a little bit to where it says current. And under current here, you can see that there is Visual Studio Community 2022. And that's the one that we want. So you can go ahead and click on the install button and it's going to then ask you, you know, what do you want as far as additional workloads? Now, don't panic if you're sitting here saying, oh, geez, I don't know what I need. Um, you can add these in later on. So for my sake, I'm going to go ahead. I want to use um, as far as the .NET framework. And there's also, though, if you scroll down, you can see there's a gaming section where game development with Unity, and you want to make sure that you do click that. If you ever decide to jump into other game engines, such as the Unreal Game Engine, you can also check, the, check this simultaneously for development with C++. But since this is tying into Unity, I'm just going to do the Unity element here. So I'm going to go ahead here and just take you through the rest here real quick. You do have some other options as far as data, the data sciences, things like that, if you choose to go and include those downloads. Outside of that, though, once you're ready to go, down in the corner here, you have an install button. It also tells you how much space you're taking up, and you can just tell it to install. And then what you're going to see here, just to point out a couple things in the interface, is it is going to take you through. You can watch this. Um, you're probably going to see a skip in the video here shortly. But if you want, just to note, you do have a check mark here that says start after installation. It's up to you if you want to have that turned on or off. So once you're done installing, you're going to, I left the check box checked to have it open. What you can do here is you can see now that you can actually have some projects. You can get a repository from GitHub. You can open a project, create a new project with a code scaffolding. And one thing, though, I want to do for right now, just so that folks can see it in the video, is I am going to continue without code. Because one of the things that I'd like to draw your attention to in the interface is up in the upper right hand corner here. That if you want, as you can see, I currently am logged in as far as my account is concerned. 
So if you are with a school or anything like that, you can actually add your accounts in here to be included as far as your profile is concerned. So, However, to emphasize, you can use it without having a personalized account uh, associated with it, but because my university or my college has a license for Microsoft, I do have the product key applied there. But that's pretty much it. Um, anytime that you need to do an update, it will appear in the installer. And instead of things like launch, it'll have an update button for you that you can just update uh, your Visual Studio there and you're good to go.